Do you ever have a problem with your dog not being able to focus, not being able to concentrate, maybe in a new environment, maybe they're just too excited that you just got home? I'm Yara Silva with Positive Teachers and today I'm going to talk to you about Pick a Breath. It's one of Leslie McDevitt's Control and Leash games and it is great to help us do our dogs focus and calm down in new locations, when they're too excited. Just like us, when we get too excited and we hold our breath, our dogs does, does the same thing. So when we take a deep breath and we calm down, same thing happens to our dogs. And we can teach them to take a breath on cue to calm themselves down and be able to focus. So when teaching the take a breath, of course you can use any cue that you like. I use the same cue that Leslie teaches, which is to have my finger close to my nose and take a deep breath myself. So I'll do and then deliver treat as they breathe with me. Many dogs will eat, either take a deep breath when they smell that treat or they may even take a deep breath if you actually breathe with them. So if your dog is super excited and couldn't possibly stay still for one microsecond if you have food, one thing you can do is just sit with your dog maybe in the evening when your dog is more relaxed and just breathe with them and see if they will take a breath when you take a breath. So that's another way to teach just a little more calmer if you need to. I love teaching it with, with treats and letting them sniff and get the treat immediately. I think that goes very fast, but there's definitely other ways to teach if you need to. And I'll take it. I'll take the, the little wolf in that closed mouth. What I'm looking for is for the nostrils to be free. And even that. Closed mouth. And I see the nose. Nice. Good girl. So take a breath is something that our dogs learn usually very, very fast. Three, four repetitions, and you start really seeing them going like, oh, oh give me the cookie. So as long as you can practice in a couple of different environments, maybe in two different three different rooms in the house to begin with, so that we are starting to teach our behavior in a calm environment and we can use that calm kind of thinking to then go out on the road, then go in your, in your backyard. In a couple of days, you'll be ready to be taking this on the road and practicing. Make sure that when you're practicing that you're giving your dog enough space and you're keeping it short if you're in a very high distracting environment so that we're not over facing our dogs. Perfect. But you should be seeing some relaxing very, very fast. Perfect. So take a breath can be used with combining with a lot of your behaviors. For example, you can ask for take a breath on a relax when they're relaxing on a mat. As soon as they lay down, ask for a breath, then start paying. You can ask for a breath a couple more times if they're distracted by the environment, looking around a little bit to help them calm down. If you have a dog like Daisy that has a hard time relaxing. You may also want to look at our other video on how to relax on a mat. <laughs> 